We're jumping right in today with the items I think are amazing to get from the $1.25 store. They seriously have the best collection of inexpensive candles. Oh, and something new I'm doing that I want to mention. If you stay tuned until the end, I'm sharing a preview of what's coming up next on Simply Amanda Lee. Anyways, James ended up picking out these black and white ones, a rather good choice, I thought. I also love that they carry LED candles. In my stores, they say pretty sold out, so if you're planning on using them sometime in the year, I just get them when you see them available. I also really like their pre-done silverware. Economically, it's probably a little pricey, but if you're last minute party planning like I was, then these would definitely be great. They also have a great selection of cupcake displays and they have cookie boxes as well, which I think would be great for not only parties, but for giving holiday treats to friends, family, and teachers. And how about these for a Candyland themed birthday party? So adorable. I really am always just blown away at all of their birthday party decoration selection. These are awesome as well. If you're doing a bigger cake, these would look so cute, but you could definitely use those a whole bunch of different ways, I feel. And you're definitely going to need these for you the night after the party. So <laughs> aren't they cute though? I got them for the girls. It's the night before his celebration and I'm getting started on his balloon display. If you didn't watch our last video this day and the night before was chaos, our community lost power for almost 24 hours. And so I was unable to prep anything the day I had planned and we lost all of our groceries. I put a couple command hooks up to hang up this display and then I'm using the balloon glue to add in smaller balloons here and there. I was definitely ill prepared here though. A, because I ran out of command tape and decided to stick the happy B day up with balloon glue. Note to self, never do that again. We have flat paint and so it messed up a couple spots. We do plan on repainting in here soon, so it's not that big of a deal, but I like I knew it it was going to happen before I even hung up the first one, but at that point with what had happened the prior 24 hours, I was like, we're just getting this up. I don't care if it messes up the wall. We're going to repaint. It's got to go up. So, that's where I was there. Um, and number two, I didn't realize that the kids had gone through so many of my balloons over the last few months. So all I had was a limited supply of pastel ones. So we just made do. It certainly didn't make a difference um, to James, as you'll see. Now that we have power, I'm able to get the dishes done. I planned on doing them the night before, but the balloons took me a lot longer than I thought. I think I finished around midnight and sleep just felt more important to me. Cleaning up outside was something else I had intended to get done the day before and I knew it was gonna take so long. It was an absolute wreck. I generally just let the kiddos do whatever they want out there. It's where they craft and build box forts. They play with Play-Doh and slime, and as you see, explore and capture wildlife. This was our dining room set from our old house. It wasn't in good enough condition to sell, neither were the chairs, and so we decided to just have it be our outside table and use it as long as we can. The chairs are definitely 100% going to give way before the table. They're rubber wood and they're not sealed as good as the table is, so when they finally go, we'll go ahead and get a whole new set, and we're thinking about maybe setting this table somewhere else in the yard to be the craft table. So our new table stays nice because this one has been absolutely wrecked from crafting. I actually ended up 
kind of giving up on cleaning here and just put the um, tablecloth over it. We'll be doing a fun fall update of our outside space though to make it feel more cohesive and get it ready for those like cozy cool nights that we spend out there so definitely hit the notifications bell to stay up to date on when those videos come out and i just also want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me thus far as we begin sharing our lives i'm incredibly grateful to build a community that encourages and motivates each other We're also kind of toying with the idea of painting the concrete right here. Dustin said that he thinks that maybe if we did it, we would paint it gray, but I'm not really sure. I think once we put our rug down, I'll have a better feel on whether we want to do something with the concrete or not. What do you guys think? You know when you have those items in your house those furniture items that you're not super in love with like decor wise anymore but they have just been such good pieces for you that you see no point in getting rid of them like you have an emotional attachment to them that is this set of outdoor furniture it has been through the ringer with us we've had it for so many years it has withstood all the elements it still looks pretty darn new and even that metal table that you're gonna see me clean off here in a little bit which was really really bad looks almost brand new now after i cleaned it off so we'll give it a like a facelift during fall and make it a little bit more cozy and cute with some pillows and plants and all that but do you guys have that sort of furniture that you're emotionally attached to or won't let go even though you don't really like it aesthetically anymore look how bad this metal coffee table is this is the play-doh slash slime table the funny thing is is prior to us allowing them to use it for such it had already needed to be sanded and repainted because it was starting to look really patchy and just it just didn't look good so it's funny because scraping all of the play-doh and slime off of here actually removed the patchiness or at least made it look like it was supposed to look like that it just gave it a whole new feel and vibe so the kids inadvertently revived the table definitely a score for us because it's one less thing we have to do The previous owners left the TV stand out here and I'm really thankful they did. So we need to get a waterproof TV because I just picture us doing like movie nights with the kids. There's already lights that they left that are um, pretty nice as well. We're really just very happy with this home. When we originally sold our last home, we planned on waiting it out and finding the perfect piece of property, a couple acres at least. And so we decided to rent in the meantime, but the people we were renting from decided they were going to take advantage of the market like we did and decided to sell. So we also learned that interest rates were going up. And so we decided to go ahead and buy, even if it wasn't going to be our forever home, it just made the most sense. God knew what we needed before we did in regards to this home. All of our children's extracurriculars are pretty centered around our current location, which if we had property, it wouldn't have been. We would have been really far out. There's no way we are keeping up with property in this season of life, but we still have a really nice size lot. Actually, we have double lots, so we still got a good little chunk of property, and we really enjoy how well this home functions. 
And while we are updating it here and there, we don't have to. We're just so busy that it's really nice to not be in something that has to be a project, I guess. Is it our forever home? I don't know, but if it is, we're absolutely good with that. We are both completely content here. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. Okay, so this was all that we salvaged from the power being out, just some maple syrup and butter. So right now, Dustin is currently at the store picking up some things for Bud's celebration, like a cake, an ice cream cake, and some snacks and just some things that he wanted for breakfast the next day because he'd actually requested a super specific breakfast that we were unable to do because everything that we'd bought for it went bad. So anyways, now I'm just giving the fridge a good wipe out so we'll have a fresh start with those groceries. And I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I was super happy that James chose for us to do his room for his birthday and just have his best friend over to celebrate because I can't imagine trying to last minute pull off a full party after the previous 24 hours that we had. Could I have? Yes. As I'm sure you guys can attest to, if we have to pull it off our babies, we will figure it out and get it done. But I'm also thankful I did not have to. Say something meaningful Say something I don't know I wanna know you better The way that you talk to me The way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Put you in that spotlight you make me feel right Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know you know. Till my lungs 
just give out your beautiful Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful These boys make my heart melt. High chair love never dies. They've grown up together and those sort of friendships are so cherished. It's another reason this house is perfect for us because we used to be an hour from them and now we're maybe 20 minutes because of traffic. It's also good for me because his mama is one of my sweetest besties. James and I have a birthday only a week apart so I just celebrated mine as well and she made it so, so special. I'm so incredibly thankful for her. No. Oh.